Ben, David, great to be here and just congratulations again on yet another win at the RNA. Thanks Ben, it's, uh, we've only just heard the uh, results of the, the RNA. Uh, this year in the paddock to pallet competition we were um, probably as successful as we've ever been. We won both class 37 and 40 which were the 100 day non-HGP and the 100 day HGP uh, classes. We won the grand champion pens in both those classes and we also won the champion and reserve champion carcass, the champion pen of carcasses, and the overall highest weight gain with a with a Charolais Angus cross steer of ours that, that gained 3.27 kilos a day. So it's a great competition. It's the, the uh, commercial relevance, the uh, endorsement of our genetics and what we're doing uh, in our breeding program is, is um, is fantastic uh, and it's not a it, it's not a fluke I mean this is yeah. been what, what is it the second or third year you've won yeah, it? it's the third third year in a row that we've won it and last year we were first and second in class 37 so but um yeah look it's great to have that HGP free one in there as well and and um see them doing so well and tell me what why do you think you're getting these consistent results from such a huge competition for so many years we've, we've concentrated on the basics of, of of balance in our cattle so they've got growth they've got muscling but it's, but they're soft uh, so they're performance cattle and they seem to really fit that 100 day target export weight market been a fantastic lineup of charolais so tell us some more detail yeah ben we've got 102 charolais this year within that we've got uh, 28 homozygous polled and 90 percent of the entire sale is is polled this time around and yeah we're pretty proud of the way that we've increased the poll gene within these cattle but without compromising on carcass and weight gain. And just on our sire lines and everything, the Charolais breed has got such a huge genetic pool and we draw genetics from the US, Canada, uh, Europe, New Zealand, Australia, and we mix them all up, but we always try and breed back into the middle. So we take the best of, of the genetics that those, those sires offer. We travel the world looking for them. And so we're breeding a really, really consistent product with a, with a big genetic pool, but our mantra has been to always breed to the optimum so you'll see bulls that are very very similar in phenotype that have you know varying genetic backgrounds and i think that's a really really positive thing for both us and our customers a fair mix of sire lines in this sale but i guess some of the tried and tested uh silver stream holster again uh kudos has got another sire up front who he topped the sale last year a son of kudos topped the sale last year at thirty-eight thousand. Ben, every year the Ultra Blacks just get better and better. This year, an exceptional lineup. Yeah, Ben, I think you get to a point where you, you know, each year you get better and better, and then finally you get numbers behind you, and you just have that massive increase. And I think this is the year that we've we've done that. Um, we've, seen, we've had a bigger group to pick from, and and these 60 bulls that we've selected for the sale, we think are, are the best we've ever offered and the most even we've ever offered. And relating the the Ultra Black genetics back to our program, that the steers we we had in the uh, paddock to pellet competition were both a mix of Charolais Ultra Black and our Angus genetics and, and the Ultra Black were a very big part of that and uh, it's really great to see how well they're performing in those commercial competitions and within the industry and we've, it's just such an exciting breed. Within there there's a few standouts that we we believe up the front there's um, another Kingpin Sun and Kingpin Sun topped the sale last year and was the second top last year and I think he's, he'll be a feature lot. Another um, bull with some genetics from the States, uh, an MC Ambassador son, he'll be up front as well. So look, there's a fair mix in there, a few homebred bulls, but um, you know, we're really excited about the way we've, the sleek coats and, and the way these bulls have adapted and, and the, I guess the response we're getting from clients and feedback of how they're, how they're doing out in the paddock and, and performing down the line for them. Fellas, you've gone to a fair bit of effort this year to just get as much information about the cattle out there as you can. Absolutely, Ben. It's, um, 2020 has been a, a year of disruption, as we all are aware, and we've, we're trying our best and doing our best to give as much information on, on our sales to, uh, to our clients as we can. Uh, photos on all lots, videos on all lots, asking people to get in touch with Ben and come and inspect the bulls prior to the sale. We're really proud of these bulls and We'll do our best for you to get you there and, and have a look at these bulls. Fellas, it's been fantastic spending time with you again and as always, and uh, best of luck. Thanks, Ben. And ditto back to you, and that's a wrap. <laughs> Cheers, mate.